We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello students, myself Asit Mistri from Shankar Shivagala Pabu Institute of Technology, Electrical Department and uh, today I am going to take a lecture on introduction of high voltage engineering subject. This subject is basically of 6 semester subject in GTU. Subject code is 2160904. Now let us I will st uh, start my lecture on high voltage engineering ok so first of all objective of the subject or uh, I would like to ask you a question that uh, what do you understand my word high voltage ok so there are many definitions some students saying that high voltage means uh, very high voltage this kind of thing but uh, suppose uh, in detail or uh, technically if you want to understand that what do you mean by high voltage means it is a voltage certain voltage level which we, which is beyond the one thousand in terms of thousand beyond the one thousand volt this kind of uh, voltage level in electrical we can take as a high voltage o is it okay now in gtu we can find this subject okay so what is the objective of this subject right why because we suppose uh, we have we want to learn anything before that it is necessary to understand why why this subject we have to study so that answer of that why we can find in the, in this in suppose we know the high voltage engineering then we pay, we can able to understand this demand for the generation transformation of large amount of electrical power to design and develop electrical equipment info uh, we have information that we are able to inf uh, explain about insulating materials breakdown phenomena over voltage and testing techniques etc so this is the need of this subject means after learning this subject what is what we can get so we can get this kind of information this kind of understanding is it okay now uh, let's move on this subject but before that some prerequisites is necessary okay so not a first year students can learn directly high voltage engineering he has some basics which kind of basics like uh, we know some concept of we should know some concept of uh, generation of electricity transmission of electricity distribution of electricity okay and supply okay so this kind of prerequisites knowledge if we know then it is easy to understand high voltage okay now let us take summary of this subject or in detail let's we see the syllabus of this subject okay huh. now on your screen this is the syllabus so first of all we have we are going to discuss the teaching scheme right uh, uh, we all know and it is a uh, credit of five five credit subject and three lecture and one lab per week okay now let us see the detailed syllabus okay so syllabus containing eight topics but uh, it is not eight it is given in eight but it, this syllabus can be divided in the three part first part we can say as a introductory part and some prerequisite part okay second part it is known as the main heart of the high voltage that is known as generation part and third part that is known as measurement and testing 
So, this syllabus can be divided in three parts. First part includes topic number 1 and 2, 1, 2, 3. Second parts include top only topic number 4 and the remaining part third. It is containing topic number 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, very good. Now, let us, uh, we ta let me talk about uh, some basics of these three parts. We would like, I would like to start with topic number 2, means it is generation of high voltage. This is the heart of this high voltage engineering subject. So, to generate high voltage, how can we generate the high voltage? Before that, one should able to know that how electricity is generated, is it? So, what is the answer? Electricity is generated by which law? Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and uh, all that thing we have already studied in first year right now and faraday's law we know now next move to move ahead that uh, what after this generation one device name is transformer what is the uh, function of transformer to step up or step down electrical quantity so with the help of transformer we can convert low voltage into high voltage this is first one basic method of this uh, generation another aspect suppose we want to dc what is solution someone says rectifier exactly rectifier means it is a device which convert hv ac into hv dc so another solution is that uh, first convert ac into uh, sorry step up the voltage and then convert into hv ac to hv dc right so in this generation part, we have uh, we have to learn about basically three measurement uh, generation techniques. Which three? Generation of HVAC, generation of HVDC, and third, generation of impulse. Now, somebody ask, what do you mean by impulse? Impulse means a uh, very high ma magnitude spike for a fraction of time. If we plot lightning stroke wave, lightning stroke in a graph paper, okay, graph means uh, uh, its uh, lightning magnitude versus in the voltage and uh, time in terms of microsecond and voltage is in terms of kV, okay. So that kind of uh, waveform we can known as impulse, right? It has a very high value for a fraction of time and after that uh, suddenly it is decrease right <coughs> when it is going to discharge okay so that uh, impulse generation is also necessary okay so my question is that uh, why this generation is necessary because in some applications we will talk later it will require very high voltage as a supply that is why it is necessary another mean means suppose lightning shock is a natural stroke okay so suppose uh, we have to put transformer in an atmospheric condition okay and open with the open atmosphere okay at that time suppose suddenly light lighting stroke occur and it is fall on the transformer what happen transformer will destroy so to protect the transformer we have to put uh, some protection like lighting arrester okay or ins insulators so, that insulator must be capable to sustain that kind of stroke in transmission line also we can find some insulator. So, suppose, so that testing of that kind of uh, insulator and devices we will require a uh, impulse wave or high voltage that is why we have to study this generation of high voltage. Let us move towards the another aspect or another part of this syllabus that is known as measurement after generation of uh, these things one uh, we have to measure uh, the that all thing that we have generate so again which kind of theory we have to study like let us measure how to measure high voltage ac how to measure high voltage dc and how to measure impulse okay so this is the second part including another thing is what 
testing after measurement it is necessary to test that uh, whatever it is uh, uh, of good quality or not it is sufficient or not suppose we require uh, 100 kV and uh, it is produced only 80 kV then what happen it is necessary to measure and after that testing is also necessary so and previously we have say I, I have said that it is used in testing purpose high voltage as a supply right which kind of testing testing of bushing testing of insulator testing of cable that all kind thing which have a uh, prone to high voltage that kind of equipment or instrument we have to test with a high voltage and last high which kind uh, suppose we want to establish a high voltage lab so which type of lab uh, layout is there which kind of instrument we have to purchase what is the necessity or necessary requirement uh, of uh, high voltage engineering that all thing we can cover in a very last